Da 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 da! Hello everybody, it's your good pal the Zodi Game here. Yes, we are finally on the greatest update so far on Genshin Impact. Yes, it is 5.0 live stream just happened a few hours ago with the brand new trailer and information in the live stream, and it is so good. I cannot wait till it comes out. But first off. Here's the reaction trailer that I'm doing right now and I have to say I'm really hyped up for this. This one's like roughly a four minute long trailer of what's to come in the new Natland Nation. So I'm very excited to see what's to expect. And the live stream is so long there's going to be a lot of information to digest. It will take a while. So... Brace yourself for this one, because this one's going to be a huge one ever since Sumeru and Fontaine. So, I am so hyped up. I can't wait for this one. So, to the Nation of Dragons. To Africa version of Tavat. So, let's get on with this video then, shall we? Let's do it. So, yes, the trailer for this video is Flowers Were Pleasant on the Sun Scorched. Sojourn trailer. I'm sorry if I'm budging it up, but anyway, it's Genshin Impact version 5.0 trailer. Oh, there we go. So we've arrived at the final phase. Yeah, it's a tournament arc. We all know. Ah, it. Oh, it looks gorgeous. From this point forward, everything we know about the real world no longer applies. Anything There's going to be a lot of lore in this. There's something in the depths of this place that feels familiar, yet also foreign. The pilgrimage is not merely a trial to determine the strongest the among gorgeous. us, but also a stage upon which to showcase Ooh. your individual growth. The purpose of the pilgrimage is not only to select strong warriors, <laughs> but also it's the to collect contending fire from the battles. That land is only safe from the invasion of the abyss, while the sacred flame burns eternal. <laughs> There's Dust Shark. There's Cool Boy with the dragon. Yeah, pixel dragon, I should say. Ooh. He looks cool. Oh, and then there's Squirrel Goat? <laughs> Guess I'll have to wait until the next pilgrimage. I'm still not sure why Arwaiyab chose me of all people. Oh, it looks so good. It took the combined efforts of the then Pyro Archon and heroes from every tribe to finally repel the Abyss. Even so, the effects of the invasion lingered for hundreds of years, only able to be reversed little by little. Our current Archon achieved an overwhelming victory. Break dancing and <laughs> from the beginning. I, I really want to win this time. And become a true warrior. But through our long history of fighting the abyss, we've realized so things are quite abyss so lower in this simple. one. The abyss has invaded the night kingdom and has the capacity to read the memories of this land at any given moment. Going to the night kingdom? Only those who triumph over the abyss earn the right to be revived. Defeat not only means death, but also the destruction of your ancient name, preventing it from ever being inherited hmm. again. You heard something from here, didn't you? Kinich, what is the meaning of this? Only one way to awaken you all from your willful blindness. More sacrifices must be made. You'll die if you try to make your way forward. Oh, what are you and everything. Up? You want to know why I won't give up? I should have died five years ago. Take me as your next sacrifice. Natlan is on the verge there we go. of destruction. There's Yakon. It's very possible our nation has less than a year before total devastation. Once your ancient name disappears, there's no coming back. I'm very intrigued on the plot how it goes. No! Why can't I find him? Why? Every great display of power That's comes true. at a price. <laughs> Is the tragedy of your short lives. You understand nothing of all encompassing power. You shall unite the tribes and save Natlan from its impending doom. 
What use is the gnosis is that the captain? Your hands? Yes. I don't know what you mean. But it sounds like this is about more than the Tsaritsa. Your plan has reached an impasse. And now it falls to me to create oh, a yeah. for Nava. People like us. Yes! Do the talking. Oh, that's gonna be a badass showdown. The Archon and the Captain. Oh, oh. Damn. Okay, Holy of Us, give us what we want. Overview events? Let's see. Traces of Artisy, which is obviously the main event, I'm guessing. That features some sort of like new catalyst weapon, I'm guessing. Or is it a camera? Basically, loads of mini games for the new region, no doubt about it. Plenty of prebo gems, money, more level ups, talents, the usual expansion whenever there's a new region. There's gonna be loads of mini games and such. Ooh. Okay. Fawns and Crowns, which is obviously a battle simulation area. Beating conditions and such to get some new items. Mementos of Tavat. Oh! Some sort of like special camera moment in certain scenes, depending on the angles. Okay. Similar to what we had before in 4.8. Dodigo Bombastic. Oh, they're bringing this back again! Eee! Bomberman! Oh, this is gonna be good. And of course, we got the ley lines overflow. Oh, new gifts to give away. New logins. Ooh! New artifact sets. New weapons. Oh, they look good. Battle pass weapons, I'm guessing, or such. Hmm, definitely interesting. Okay, so there we go. That was Natlan's trailer for 5.0 Genshin Impact. Oh my god, he is getting so hyped in with the heat for summertime in this one. Oh, it's such a beast of a trailer. Okay, let's just cool down the heat scene in this room because it's getting a bit hot in here as it just me. Because the temperature is rising at the minute for this trailer. Sorry, I'm getting these fire jokes out of the way. Move them out of the way for now. Now then, first off, we've seen the new characters. We've seen the first three. There's probably a few others that are going to be in the story and the Archon Quest in the new Netland nation. So there's that. New enemies, new mobs, new locations, new environments. Basically, check the whole list. <laughs> Nothing else to say. Apart from we've got like a tournament arc, which we all suspected and we knew. And it just feels like a sport event, but apparently some kind of pilgrimage. Not entirely sure on the full details on how that's going to work out, but... There's going to be some other plots as well, like saying like one of the contestants is not worthy enough to be in the pilgrimage. I don't know. And that's we actually saw like quite a few things with the Abyss Order history. Ooh, this is going to be good. Because we did have some Abyss history in the past, but not by much. Not like involves with the whole nation wise. This is different. Much different. So we'll get to see and hear some more history about that, about the Archon maybe, and of course, of course being with the Pyro Archon versus the Captain, that is going to be a beast of a cutscene or battle or some sort of fight, because damn, it looks like a beast, I really hope. And I'm praying you, not only just the Archon, but also with the Captain being a actual playable character. Because, oh my god, I really wish. But I feel like he's going to be more like a boss in the future patches after Natland's being released. 
but oh my god he's once he takes off that cape that is it he's in my book he's one of the best harbingers to actually fight against and i'm like oh my god i wish he was playable but hey that's wishful thinking but the fact that is we've got a lot of stuff to go over and i'm just going to keep this short but we've just seen the cutscene. We've just seen the events. So there's quite a few events that are actually mildly interesting. But there are events, what you expect. Of course, the main events being exploration for the new region. Which is a no-brainer. Because every new nation has to have one of those patches that actually allows you to focus on exploration. As well as mini games to play along the way. There's new... Items, new artifacts, sets, new weapons, new characters, obviously banners, and all that jazz. And there's usually a signature weapon from the events that's sometimes been given. It's, I think it's a catalyst. I could be wrong. I'm not entirely sure. But all in all, this patch is wonderful. So if you're starting off on Genshin right now, Get it now while you can because it, it is wonderful to see. So whether you're a beginner or a veteran, I hope you enjoy this patch. Please down in the comments down below, what do you think? Do you think this patch update trailer is good? Do you think there's a lot more to expect? Because I haven't seen the full notes yet. So I don't have the full grasp, but I've got enough just to get by for now. But I will get into the rest of it soon. So I hope you enjoy this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. You know the deal. You know the drill. You know how this all works. And tell me what your thoughts are. And I hope to see you around in the community. And I hope to see you around then. Peace.